Halloween is coming up. I hope you guys are ready. In honor of Halloween coming up, we're gonna be checking out some scary videos. I post new videos every day at 2.30 p.m. Los Angeles, California time. If you get there as soon as I post, I will respond to your comments. So set your alarms for 2.30 California time. And yeah, comment down below what you're gonna be for Halloween. Just let me know. And let's go. If you see another person that looks identical. Ooh, getting out the shower. Run away and hide. Um. <gasps> oh no, girl. No, 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 girl. You better run away and hide. Matter of fact, if I see that thing just staring at me at the top of the stairs, girl, I will literally slap you with the mirror. <laughs> Jeez, you ain't never been slapped like this. Just like, oh pow. I don't understand these people in like the scary movies They just see something creepy like that and they're just like, oh no, what is it? Let me investigate No, beat it with the bat or run to the exit get out of there. There's no reason to investigate Look at that thing that thing's looking hungry. It looks like it wants to eat your booty or, or eat your bowl of cereal Yeah, nice save Matt some cameras pick up on the paranormal yes back in the late 1800s an inventor named Frank Lumerick claimed that he had invented a camera that could see into a realm that humans could not. And what he saw, people at the time were just not ready for. To prove it, he had set up a booth at the Chicago World's Fair where he took some of these portraits. The crazy thing about that day was that most of the portraits Frank had taken came out completely normal. Ugh. But there were a few portraits of young girls that came out severely distorted. Frank was accused of all sorts of things, of being a con man, of being a witch, and then eventually he disappeared in 1908 along with his camera. History largely forgot about Frank and his camera, but recently a historian noticed that all four women who were photographed like this that day died before their 25th birthday. <gasps> it's unclear if the camera had anything to do with it, or if the camera could see something that we just couldn't. But what girl, that's how you end your videos? You don't even have an outro. <laughs> Come on, girl. Get it together. But most of these women that had their photos taken and it looked all distorted, they didn't make it past their 25th birthday. Are you 25, girl? Or are you, ooh. Oh, you in trouble, girl. If you ain't even 25, you might not make it. I don't know. The girl in the back looks like she got hit in the head with the hammer. <laughs> Uh, I mean, sorry, sorry, it's not, it's not funny. It's like she got beat with the mirror. Come on, guys, get a mirror like this. It's so easy to like, wow, wow, woo, 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 a poop, stab. Ah, look where we paused the video, girl. You making that stern, like, ooh, you grounded face. <laughs> guys, who did it better? Let's do it. Yeah, I think mine's pretty good, but yeah, you can comment down below and smack the like button and go ahead and subscribe. Please, please, subscribe, guys. We want to get to 15 million subscribers. I wish this place actually existed. Uh, a mental institution? <gasps> Chuck E. Cheese? What the? Knife top? Severe bowel plate? Ew! Bathrooms? Chuck E. Cheese? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, you can't trust anybody who looks like that. Who has that many sc scars. Stabbing stage. Whack a Chucky. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This place does look kind of fun. Pizza comes with the hammer. All right, guys, if we can find this place, we can all go together, I promise. I will rent it out for all of us and we can have fun. Guys, where do we go to first? You know we gotta see this thing, whatever it is. What, what are you? Are you a skinwalker? You have to tell us if we ask. Guys, I'm hitting the whack of Chucky. That, that sounds fun. Just bop them on the top of the head with a mirror. Guys, we can go to the play tunnels. We can go to the knife bathrooms or the stabbing range. Yeah. Look at the bunny. What's your name? Is your name Stabby? Looks fun. It could easily be one of the most haunting Polaroids I think I've ever seen. Now the Polaroid was captured and then later developed after Jonah Sullivan went missing. It didn't take long for investigators once they developed it to realize the same thing that you're probably realizing. There's something in this picture. Now to preface where the picture came from, Jonah was actually an explorer and he would typically explore abandoned building, one of them being the Gershwin Schoolhouse, which was abandoned in the late 70s and no one knew why, and he went in 1999. After he never came back, police went searching where they found the Polaroid camera, but not him. The final picture caught on the camera was eventually developed, which showed someone in the background near the desk. If you zoom into the <gasps> picture, you would see that Jonah was not alone in that room. An attempt would be made to digitally enhance the picture, and this was the result.
Oh my god, bro, there is somebody hiding under the desk. This is not an earthquake drill. What are you doing? Who is this? Is this a Halloween mask? Or is that just a bunch of dirt and soot on your face? You look like a grenade exploded in your face. <laughs> you better stop creeping around the school. This is what you do on a Saturday? You just hang out here and do nothing but hide under desk? Does it make you feel safe? Or does it make you feel beautiful? Either way, you're night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna only play this one time, okay? Because I don't like it. Ready? <gasps> oh, I hate this game. Collins, I'm not doing this creepy stuff again. Don't be creepy this time, okay? Do it normal. Ready? Go. You knew this was a bad idea. <gasps> Stop! Oh, oh no, you didn't, girl. Ooh. I wish I was babysitting and she did this. Oh, girl, you'd be on time out so quick. You see that little squid octopus stuffed animal you got right there? Oh, I'll stab him real quick. I'll just like, if you scare me like that, girl, mm, 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 you ain't getting no Christmas presents for you. I'll make you do my dirty laundry, girl. I hope you like underwear stains. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Guys, I'm clean. I have the cleanest dirty laundry you've ever seen. But I'll still make you do it. So don't be scaring me. Little kids are just crazy. What is wrong with y'all? You guys just like causing trouble. Why can't you just sit down and shut up? Or um, be, be quiet. Nice Jurassic Park shirt, by the way. This girl's face looked familiar to you? No. Her name was Anne, and when she was 16 years old, she drowned in a river in France. Ew. Since then, people have been using her face for years. Since her true identity was never established, they created this death mask for her, which was customary during cases back in the day. They make these masks in hopes that family will come forward and recognize them. They gave her the name Anne, and now she's the most kissed person in the world. What? Watch this. A CPR dummy? Oh, they used her face as a CPR, okay. Well, now she's known to be the most kissed person in the world. Um, uh, so it's a bunch of perverts kissing dummies. Are you one of them? You joined that CPR class, didn't you? And you done kissed that dummy. I mean, if the girl in the front was the dummy, I'd probably kiss it, you know what I mean? It's just a little scary and kind of weird that they would use the CPR dummy, like they'd mold it after a real person. Just mold it after just a random, make it up. Ah, look where we paused the video, girl. Your eyes is half open. <laughs> Jeez. She looks like the dummy. I can't even tell who's who. Perfect match, girl. The only difference is that you have hair. Or is that a wig? Guys, let's snatch her weave. Creepy images caught in the background of photos. Okay. I work in IT and was taking a pic of the location to send to my manager. Didn't notice it until I uploaded it on text. Then ran the F out of there. What? What's, what's the problem, man? I don't even see anything. <gasps> oh! Oh no, mm -mm. yep, I would have ran up on out of there. Is that a demon or a Halloween decoration? Guys, I don't know and I don't want to find out. I'm glad the IT guy was smart. As soon as he saw it and recognized it, he was like, I'm, I'm gone, man. I don't care how much you guys are paying. Don't do it. That thing is tall. You play basketball, man, you need to get my rebound. Come on, be on my team. Guys, we could join the NBA. Imagine demons yeah. playing basketball. It'd be ridiculous, but we'll take it. This is the story about the missing bride. A young couple just got married. Married. They had a reception with their friends and family. They sang, laughed, and danced all night. After the reception, they decided to play hide and seek. The groom covered his eyes and began counting down from 100, while the bride and the other guests went to go hide. The groom then found everybody, except his beautiful bride. Everybody began to call her name and search everywhere for the young woman. They began to panic when they didn't find a trace of her. They eventually gave up looking and assumed she ran away to leave her husband. After weeks went by, the husband assumed she had second thoughts about marrying him. A few years later, a cleaning lady was cleaning the attic. She then came upon a trunk. Out of curiosity, she opened the trunk. She then found the corpse of the missing bride, who was still in her wedding dress. She accidentally locked herself in there, and either died from suffocation or starving to death. Jeez, man! Uh, mazel tov. Congratulations on getting married, but who the heck plays hide and go seek on their wedding day? I'm not playing kids games! On my wedding day, we have the little ceremony, and then it's the reception. It's time to party, baby. I want food and drink. Dancing and hooting and hollering. We might even break out in a basketball game, but not hide and go seek. Really, you guys thought you searched everywhere? You didn't search the attic? That would have been like one of the third places I checked. Especially if you really couldn't find her. Like, come on now. Call her phone. Like, dang, man, you guys gotta get it together. <gasps>
No, no, not me. Not yes, you. What are you gonna do? What you gonna beat me up? Is that what that is? What kind of dance is that? What? What? Hey, 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 hey! Watch yourself. I don't know who's scarier, the nun or Ghostface in the background. Or Pennywise. All of y'all look disgusting. And what is with that evil eyeshadow? Like, come on now. Acting like you're gonna beat somebody up. You ain't gonna beat up squat. You already look like you got beat up. Mm-hmm. Come on. Next time you show your face around me, I'll slap the lipstick off your mouth. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.